Hello everyone and welcome back to the multiplayer FPS tutorial series. Today we're going to be making a health bar that displays on the screen so that we can see our current health. To start, let's go to our player controller prefab, right click on the root and choose UI canvas. We're making our canvas a child of the player because we can easily assign things in the inspector like text or images which we want to update from the player controller. It's also useful because whenever the player is dead, we won't see a health bar or anything related to the player on the screen. And there's no point in having a health bar if your player is dead. Let's set the canvas scaling to scale with screen size and the reference resolution to 1920 by 1080 which is just the width and height of my computer screen. Then we'll set the width and height scaling to 0.5 so that if we scale our window horizontally or vertically it'll scale the canvas. Let's also switch to 2D mode in the scene view so that it's easier to see our canvas. To start creating the actual health bar let's right click on our canvas and choose UI image. And this is going to create a UI image in the center of our screen. But I want the health bar to be in the bottom left, not in the center blocking where we're aiming. So first let's set up the alignment. Let's go over to the rec transform here and click on the little box in the upper left. This lets us set up the anchor, which is basically which side of the screen this object is going to stick to when we scale it. So as you can see by default, it has the center anchor. And if we scale the screen horizontally or vertically, it's going to always stay in the center of our screen. If we go over to the anchor and set it to the bottom left anchor, if we scale our screen we can see that it's sticking to the bottom left instead of the center. This is a little more apparent if we drag the image to the bottom left, and now you can see that scaling it, it kind of sticks to the corner there. Next we're going to set the width to 500 to make it look more like a traditional health bar, and then I'll set the position to something like 260 so that it's 10 pixels away from the left side, and set a height of 80, and then maybe um, the position Y will set as 50, so that it's 10 pixels again from the bottom. All right, now that we've got this set up, I'm gonna click on the image and press F2 to rename it, and we're gonna call this one Health Bar Background, because we're gonna use this as the background for our actual Health Bar image. So I'm gonna set the color to black, and then we'll right click on it and choose UI image to make a new one. And so for this child image, we're gonna click on the anchor and we're gonna set the anchor to stretch to all the sides of its parent. So we're gonna hold down Alt to actually reset the transform to this. And then we're gonna click in the bottom right here to get it to stretch to all the sides. And you can see that the image has completely covered our background. So I'm gonna set the left, top, right, and bottom distance to 10 so that we get a bit of a padding here between the background and the actual health bar. And you can see that because we set the anchor to stretch to the edges, if we were to resize this health bar background, our actual health bar would resize perfectly inside it. Next, I'm gonna click on this image and press F2 to rename it to health bar. I'm also gonna set the image color to green. The next thing I want to do is have this health bar kind of shrink itself towards the left whenever we take damage. And we could do that by manually changing the spacing to the right, but it's kind of janky to do it like that because if we change our screen resolution or the size of the health bar, we're going to have to change our code to account for the new resolution. So I'd rather do it an easier way. Let's right click in our assets folder, choose create folder, and we're going to rename it to images. And then in that folder, we're going to right click create sprites and we're just going to choose square. Then if we go back to our health bar and drag this new square sprite into the source image field on our image, you'll see a bunch of new options pop up. Let's switch the image type from simple to filled. We get this new fill amount slider that we can use to adjust how much of the image is displayed. If we change the fill method to horizontal, you can see that changing the fill amount changes the percentage of the image that is displayed. We can easily change this value through code to display the amount of health we have. Let's go into our player controller script. At the top, let's make a new serialized field so that we can assign it in the inspector. Image, and we'll press Alt Enter and choose using UnityEngine.UI, and we'll just name it Health Bar Image. Then let's scroll down to where we take damage, and after our current health minus equals damage, so after our health updates, We'll just say health bar image dot fill amount equals current health divided by max health. And we say current health divided by max health because it's going to give us a percentage from 0 to 1 of our current health out of our max health. So if we had 100 current health and our max health is 100, that's going to be 1. So our health bar is going to display 100% of itself. If our current health is 0 and our max health is 100, 0 divided by 100 is 0, so our health bar will display 0%. If our current health was 50 and our max health is 100, 50 divided by 100 is 0.5, so our health bar will display 50%. And it carries on. So let's go back into Unity and then assign the health bar to the health bar image variable that we created on our player controller. 
Then I'm going to build the game to test. And before you build yours, just watch mine for a second. You can see that it's actually not working. If I shoot the other player, the health bar doesn't appear to be updating at all. And this is actually because we made the canvas a child of our player controller, and there are two player controllers in the scene right now, so there are actually two canvases. And one of the canvases is overlaying on top of the other. If I drag the health bar to a different position, you can see that it is properly updating, it's just that it's behind the other health bar by default. To fix this, let's stop playing and go into our player controller script. At the top, under our health bar image, let's make a new serialized field game object UI. Then in the start method, where we're checking if the player is the local player or not using pv.isMine, in the else section, where we're not the local player, we'll destroy the UI. This way, we'll only have the health bar if we're the local player. Back in Unity, let's go to our player controller prefab and assign the canvas to the UI slot in our player controller. Then I'll build the game using Control b to test it. Now if I shoot the other player, you can see that their health bar goes down. Shooting them with the pistol makes their health bar go down 25% because the pistol does 25 damage and the player has 100 total health. If we shoot the player with the rifle, it'll go down 50% because the rifle does 50 damage. Right now we have an issue where it looks like the player isn't dying at all, but that's because they're just spawning on the exact same spawn point. In the future when we have a respawn timer, we won't have this issue anymore. That's it for this video, thank you all so much for watching. And as always, thank you to my Patreon supporters, Mikels, Ojack Frost, Big 3D, Timekeepers, Cloud X, Twisted Sights, North Rari, Crazy Potato, Neil Shaw, Golden Trash Can, Carmelo, G1 Broheim, Buck O, Gaming Strive, William, Ghost Boy, Orchidy, X Zippy Zack X, Mike, and Dottie. Thank you all so much.